Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for November 22nd, 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, you could do so at my website, tarotbarbie.com. No refunds ever. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Knight of Swords, the World, and the King of Pentacles. It looks like somebody here wants to come towards you, and they want to come towards you fast, Virgo. Some of them may end up sending you some sort of message here. They've been reflecting a whole lot with the Seven of Cups on how they didn't do you all that great here in the past. Regardless, though, they do want to come back towards you, and it looks like they're going to want to travel towards you, too. They're coming to the realization that they actually have a lot of feelings for you as well. There is, a, there is a distance between the two of you guys, which creates a lot of stress on both of you's energy at the moment. Uh, they're far away. You're far away. It's not like you guys can meet up with each other within like five minutes. No, Virgos. You guys are very much so far away from each other. There's no communication between the, either of you at the moment. Regardless, though, so they've been reflecting a whole lot, and they want to come back in and balance everything up between the two of you guys. So do expect a message coming in from this person. Um, they are going to take action and be brave to come in and to express to you how they feel about you. Um, they are stressing out. They know that they can't come empty handed with you towards you with the ace of pentacles to the nine of swords. They've been going through a lot, Virgos. This person's been having a lot of sleepless nights. They've been sitting on the couch, back to the bed, back to the couch, on the floor, back to the couch. Like they're having a really hard time trying to figure out how it is that they're going to keep the relationship going back and forth if they, if they continue to be so far away from you guys, right? This person's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys are not in communication with each other, but they are going to find a way to make it work out with the Ace of Wands. So if you guys are willing to make it happen, then yes, absolutely, they can make it happen too. <sighs> they think that if they were to come in on an intimate connection that you're not going to want nothing to do with them because of the fact that they didn't treat you all that great. And uh, they, they've been reflecting for almost like seven, seven, the last seven days. They've been really in their head at the moment. The last nine weeks, they've been in their head. Since last um, year, wait, what year are we in? Since friggin', yeah, since last year, October, okay? Since last year, October, they've been really in their head reflecting on a whole lot of shit at the moment here. Like, this has been a while. Uh, they've been really trying to figure out how it is that they're trying to come back towards you, but they're taking so much more longer than they actually should, right? Because they know that you are the empress. They know that you are your value, your your the way you carry yourself, the way that you hold yourself down. And you know that you're not going to want to put up with none of this shit if they're going to come back towards you on some, um, on some stupid shit straight up. They don't, they know that if they're to come back with a tower and, and you're not going to want to put any work into the situation, you know, and you may not even feel motivated anymore to even make the relationship work because you guys were the ones that were doing all the work here in the past. And for that, it would have ended up in a breakup or ghosting or some sort of separation here for you guys to lead to not being able to communicate uh, at the moment. But coming into the near future, it is going to be the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So I don't see a relationship as of yet coming in, but this person is reflecting on the connection that they have between the two of you guys with the Two of Cups Hermit and the Seven of Wands. This person carries a lot of secrets. They're a hermit. They keep everything hidden. They're very mysterious here as well. Uh, they're not somebody who's going to go ahead and, and spill out all your secrets. No, that's not how this person moves. This is the type of person only tells you what they need to tell you. <laughs> and like every friggin' Virgo, you know, they only tell you what what they want to show you. You know what I mean? Uh, regardless, though, there is a judgment in reverse here to the emperor. This person is, you guys are definitely counterpart to each other. But this emperor seems to be having a little bit of a hard time on... If it's going to be too difficult, I don't see. If you're going to be too much in your power, Virgos, coming with the Empress card and not settling for anything, I don't see anything coming in out of this situation here because you guys may end up surrendering with the Five of Swords and just saying, you know what, the love that I have for myself is much more. Uh, and, you're, and you're okay with an ending. But if this person continues to be selfish and still hurt you, there's no way, there's no way, Virgos, you're going to put uh, put your energy into it, all right? Um once would have could have been once could have would have been <laughs> the ten of cups here uh it led to you guys um definitely feeling like just reflecting um with the seven of cups up there to the seven of pentacles it's like well how long how much longer do i need to wait in order for me to get my happiness with the ten of cups upright but the ten of cups is not upright so are you guys going to be sitting here waiting forever just to have that and you guys are coming to the realization, like, you know what, maybe it's time for me to go in a new direction. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. So this person wants to come towards you. They want to express their feelings for you here as well. 
They might even have a treasure for you too, Virgos, but at the end of the day, they look like they're ready to open up their feelings towards you and <laughs> whoa, and, and come for you here as well, all right? But the thing is, um, you guys are definitely in your power with the Queen of Swords to the Devil card, Capricorn energy there. There might be a Capricorn who might be a little bit toxic, obsessive, and lustful on you. This person always tries to come for you here, Virgos, but it looks like you guys never want anything to do with this person for whatever reason. And, you know, Cancer energy, Pisces energy. So this person here, they hold a lot of mystery, a lot of deceptive energy on them as well, especially towards you guys there, Virgos, Queen of Pentacles. You guys are going to eventually turn your back away from this person because you feel like this person is a little bit mysterious, creates a lot of illusion, very deceptive, and you guys can like literally see right through them. So no matter how analytical, no how analytical they are, no matter how st strong they are, no matter how smart they are, you guys are able to see the truth with the Queen of Pentacles. So for that, you guys are turning your back on this person and moving on with your life, Three of Wands. If you guys continue to start seeing lots of birds out of nowhere, especially if you guys go down by the water or whatever, and a bunch of birds, it's like those birds are showing you that this specific person is in fact deceptive on you here, all right, Virgos? You guys are going to continue to move on with your life here with the Knight of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. You're not going to start no drama you're not going to start no drama, Virgos. You're not. You're really not. You're just going to move on with your life. Like, you know what? That's cool. Like, soft. You know what I mean? Because you already know too much, High Priestess. And you don't have time to put up with bullshit with the Five of Wands. And you don't have time for burdens anymore. You guys, our clarity is on point. Ace of Swords. So you're seeing everything for what it is. You guys just want to be happy here. You guys may even end up getting somebody else with the King of Wands who is going to be a lot more passionate towards you. And who may genuinely want a relationship here with you. It's going to be a very loving person. Um, regardless though with the two of pentacles. Do expect a message from the one in the past there. Okay. Uh, which might leave you guys very very sad. Also Virgos if you guys get in a relationship with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person may have been going through a whole lot of stuff. Especially if they was juggling with you and somebody else. And you guys may have found out about it. It is going to leave them absolutely heartbroken. Knowing that they, got, that they lost you. Literally. They only feel bad because they that they got got. You see what I mean? Would they have had would they have been heartbroken if you never caught on to their games? You know you know what I mean? Uh night into the temperance. Alright, Virgo. So it's time for you guys to take care of yourself, heal yourself, and understand that it's time to continue to have hope. Keep having hope, Virgos, because a lot of you guys might be feeling a little bit stressed at the moment with the eight of swords, just feeling really, really trapped. Should I stay? Should I go? But I love him, but I don't. <laughs> I block and I unblock. You know what I mean? So uh, it could be a Sagittarius here and even a Leo. Uh, you guys got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius here as well. A Leo. Um, it looks like you guys are going to be standing in your power here, Virgos. And they're going to go one way and you're going to move on and go another way. You're too fierce. You're too strong. You're, you're too powerful with the Queen of Wands to the Star card to the Strength card. This person cannot keep up with somebody like you. It's not going to happen. They need to go to somebody who's a little bit weaker. So that way they know who to play. You know what I mean? Uh, regardless of those six of pentacles. Giving to other people. Breadcrumbing you. Not making you feel a whole good, all that great or whatever the case is. Alright. They still a little they still a little child here. Virgos. They're going to do a little bit of spying. A little bit, you know. Uh, maybe wondering to see if you're in a relationship with somebody else. Or if you're hooking up with somebody else for that matter. Um... And regardless, though, there might be a new person that's also going to be coming. You guys are going to have a lot of options. Out of nowhere, everyone's going to be coming back to you. It's going to act. It's going to look. Whatever energy is in the earth right now, <laughs> in the earth right now, Virgos, it's like Mercury retrograde is soft. Like the energy now, everybody's coming back, right? Because y'all be going through your spiritual awakening. So God's going to be bringing back everything, everybody back to you. But God had already showed you who all these people are. So. Make sure that you guys pay attention to a wands, all right? You guys already see the shit. You already see the truth. So you guys are going to be getting the clarity that you guys need. If you guys are asking the world and the universe for some sort of sign, some sort of synchronicity regarding this connection, do you know it's going to come through as, as a bird uh, here, Virgos, all right? Hierophant. <clears throat> There's going to be somebody here who's going to want to come in, talk to you. They're going to maybe even give you a gift. They might be a spiritual person, Virgos. They're going to see that you're very, very beautiful, abundant, you know. <clears throat> and 
And if this person thinks that they can come towards you and then all of a sudden go silent on you, you guys are not going to have it anymore, Virgos. Not at all. This person's going to try and express to you how they feel. But it seems like with you guys being the Nine of Pentacles to the Seven of Swords, it looks like Virgos. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god, this could be literally a Gemini, a friggin' Taurus, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm gonna look at you guys like you guys are the Six of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles to the Seven of Swords. You can't be, you can't be played. At the moment that anybody tries to play you, you're gonna run game on them. You're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and talk all cute and sweet. Then you're gonna go fucking silent. And then you're gonna friggin' pull some shady shit, Virgos. And then you're gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for laughing. If you're a cross watcher, please don't get upset with me. I just, I can't believe that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's because you guys have been through a lot of stuff in your past that you don't have time for people to treat you the exact same way twice. So the moment that somebody puts you on game, you have no problem showing them how the game is played. Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. You don't have time for people to make you feel like you're not worthy to be in a relationship here, all right? And the magician here, yeah, Virgo's. Six of Swords, and you guys are going to continue to move on with your life with the, with the real card there, right? So you guys have prosperity, abundance, and new relationships coming towards you after all the games that people have played you, which makes sense on why you guys have become the person that you guys are today. Not letting anyone come run up on you. You guys run up on them before they run up on you. Uh, you guys are very much so the magician, Virgos. You guys can go from zero to 100 real quick. It's like, yeah, sweet, innocent little Virgo, but little do they know. But that sweet little innocent Virgo is a friggin' warrior. They've been through trials. They've been through pain. They know how it feels. And they know how to run game too. And they're psychologically smart. <laughs> mm, Virgos. Someone's about to get licked for real. All right. Um, if they don't know how to play, like treat you properly, uh, you're going to literally teach them how the game is played. Thanks, cuties. Bye.